All right, boys. So we are here uh, with yet another dot files manager. Just in case you need a simple and very easy way of managing your dot files and you don't really want to do any type of setup or anything like that. Uh, Yatam is perfect for you. Uh, you can you can install it through most package managers and then on Arch you can pull it down uh, or get it from the AUR. And it's a super simple program. So as soon as you've installed it, um, if you don't currently have a directory, you've just got these three commands here. Uh, you'll just init and then, you know, add the files that you want to add and then uh, commit. And then um, you can also, uh, or excuse me, eventually you'll want to push the local repo uh, up. But um, if you have an existing uh, repository, it's super easy. Just Yadam clone down your repository, and then you can check the status of it. And uh, you will probably have quite a, it probably if you already have, you know, some of your configs, already downloaded or they're they're different from your actual dot files uh, you'll need to add those you know and then commit them up as well and then push them up to your GitLab and yeah super simple so let's just say I go into my terminal here and I Let's see, in my vim.zshrc, if I go in here and go down, um, I don't know what we could really remove in here. Uh, here, we'll go ahead and remove this p command because I never use it. So if I just delete that here and save this, and if I do a yadam, uh, good lord, if I know what I'm doing, status here, um, it will tell me that ZSH has been mod, uh, modified. Now, if if you haven't added Yadam to be a file to be committed, uh, or that's already committed in, in, in your repository, this obviously won't show up. So just make sure and add it after you're done creating it, and you'll be fine. Uh, but then you can see it's, it's modified, uh, so I need to add it so that it'll be uh, added to the commit. So add dot ZSH RC, we'll add that. And then all I need to do is we can do a commit command. Uh, we'll give it the dash M flag, the message flag, and we'll go ahead and type it out because I don't want it to pop up and make me use VI to type it in or anything weird like that. Just we'll go ahead and give it a, a comment here and we'll give it um, removed uh, Pac-Man alias. And there we go. And then now all I need to do is we will just yet them. And that's just what I call it, the abbreviation. It's yet another dot files manager, but I'm not saying all of that all the time. Yet them and then uh, push. And then as long as you know, you've well got your stuff set up, it will actually do this and I just gotta enter my username and password and then it will push it on up there. And now my dot files have been updated. Again, super simple, Yatam, highly recommend it. Uh, again, it's simple. So if you are gonna say, hey, this is super simple, it's not anything special. Yes, it's, it, 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 it's not, it's very simple and it's, I don't know. It's nice. It's nice. Hopefully this will either help you or you just found it nifty. Uh, if you did and you want to support me making more nifty little videos like this, I have my Patreon link down in the description and you can go over there and uh, help support me financially when I waste a shitload of time doing videos like this. And I wouldn't call it wasting. I, I really do like it. But anyway, it, 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 it helps. It helps. And it's much appreciated. So check it out and uh, you can join the fine people that support me over there. Uh, it's much appreciated. And I think that's about it for this video. I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.